Hello again, everybody. This is Derek, and I Charlie, am. This is Flight Charlie in combat sector. Over. Charlie, cleared for takeoff. Charlie, taking off. Out. I am back playing some IL2. Let me get in the air, and then I will talk Charlie, about Charlie, my situation. Charlie. We're on a bomb a bridge mission. Charlie six, airport. All right, awesome. Uh, I got my bomb. I'm number two in the flight. Oh, there he is, right there on the horizon. And, uh, okay, so if you guys come to my channel to watch the IL-2 videos and nothing else, you might not know this, but I had a heart attack. Uh, in, in July. And, uh, then, you know, the emergency responder showed up, chest compressions, ambulance, hospital, intensive care, surgery, all that stuff. I had my heart, uh, they put a stint in my heart to help or to uh, manage or open a valve that had shut in my heart. Uh, it closed and it wouldn't open. Um, they went ahead and um, did some surgery on me and got me, you know, saved my life. Now, uh, so I've been out of it for about a month, right, till the early part of August. And then uh, gradually I've been getting back to painting because even though I was in the hospital, I was still acquiring job requests for my business. I, I, I paint miniature figurines. And uh, so I had to jump on those, get, get those taken care of. But at the same time, I was doing some physical therapy for my, for my heart, you know, trying to build up my strength. For one reason, I was in the hospital for like two, three weeks, and uh, I was very weak. I could barely walk across the house. I had a walker, you know, rolling around the kitchen and stuff like that. And then after a couple of weeks, I transitioned to a cane. Nine out of ten times, I don't need the cane, but uh, every now and then I'll get dizzy. Uh, or, you know, because my heart doesn't keep up. So, um, so I have the cane with me, you know, to balance or whatever. And, uh, gradually I've been exercising my heart, getting it stronger, exercising my body, my, my leg muscles and stuff like that. So, so, I'm still not 100%. I'm... I'm probably close to 75 to 80 percent. Um, so I'm feeling a lot better. And so while I was in the hospital, my wife took it upon herself to go through my workshop, my painting studio, my computer desk, and my, uh, my shelves. Uh, and she rearranged and everything, basically cleaned everything up, threw everything in boxes, dusted and stuff. And then, so when I came home, I was, um, 
everything was lost. I couldn't find anything, right? I'm going to fast forward. Or maybe I'm not. Let's go back to this. This is the button, right? Yeah, there we go. He didn't let me do it while I was in the map. Okay, so... Um, <clears throat> So my workshop basically was totally disassembled. So I gradually found everything, put it back where I wanted it. You know, um, I still haven't found everything, but um, I decided I was going to play some IL-2 today. So because I, I've been kind of having cravings to play. So I pulled out my joystick. I had to find it in one of the boxes and my OTAS and all that. Plugged it all in. Everything's good to go. My track IR was good to go. But the track IR popped up that there was a new update. I was probably running with 5.3 point something. And there's a 5.5 available. Right, so I said, Oh, okay, let's go ahead and download that. So I downloaded it and it automatically overwrote the track IR software that I already had on the computer. And then it said, You have to restart your computer to reuse this and all that. So I restarted my computer and then my track IR didn't work, it wouldn't connect. The uh, sensing uh, camera that's on the monitor would never connect. So I went in, switched USB plugs, I unplugged it, plugged it back in, reinstalled it, turned off the computer, turned it back on. It just would not connect. So I decided to go back to my, I was gonna go back to my old track IR software. And I decided not to go all the way back. I decided just to go back like to 5.4, which um, still an upgrade from what I had, uh, just to see if it would connect. And as soon as I went back, it connected no problem. Uh, it just wouldn't connect with that with the newest version of the Track IR. Uh, I don't know if that's a bug. It probably is or if it's not supposed to work with my version of the Track IR or whatever. But, um, but it's back, it's working. My track IR is working. I had to adjust a few settings because everything was inverted and stuff like that. And so that actually took me quite a bit of time to get that track IR squared away. But now that it's squared away, and also, okay, speaking of which, IL-2 had an update itself. So when I went to start IL-2, it said it had to install a new update. So uh, we're on uh, the new update, and which basically introduced the Dora, I think. It's a new, it's a five, you know, it's a TA512. I don't know. It's a German plane. It's very elongated. It looks a lot like um, one of those new Folkwool. Uh, it looks like a door, right? Um, but I, it, it's a TA. Uh, it's a collector plane. I don't own it. Um, but that's okay. So once I got all installed, and it, there was a few patches, you know, for various campaigns and careers and stuff like that. So that was all taken care of. And now we're in the game. So... Uh, if you want to help me with my medical bills or just uh, donate to the channel, be sure to, uh, you can hit me up with a, not a, what do they call it, a super chat or a, or a, uh, a PayPal me link in the description below. Uh, if you hit those, you can help me out. I've got a lot of medical bills. I was in the hospital for a long time. So it would be very much appreciated, but uh, it's by no means a requirement, you know. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and fast forward. I'm going to pause 
and when we get closer to the shoreline, I'll be back. Okay, so there's a big change, a huge change. Uh, normally, I used to be able to pause the game while I was in the map mode, you know, like in here, but it won't accept any commands uh, for speeding up the game or slowing it down or pausing the game while in map mode anymore. You used to be able to do that. So I have to switch to in-game mode or in, you know, flight mode and then hit pause. But um, let me see if I can... No, I don't want to do that. I want to... Maybe it's shift. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. We've got a whole nother flight of uh, planes that are our escorts. And so they're going to be taking on the enemy. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward a little bit. Oh, there's another group coming in at us. Or maybe they're going to dogfight. Yeah, they're dogfighting. We're supposed to uh, fly down and bomb this bridge down here. Okay, it looks like there's four bridges. If my, I'm gonna go in secondary. If the, um, if my flight doesn't succeed, then I'll go in and bomb the bridge. But if they do succeed, I'll just blow up one of the other bridges. Okay, that looks like a road bridge. Looks like they're all road bridges, but these are the highway bridges. El Boof. There's also a bridge over here. And a couple more over there. There's a lot of bridges in this area. But I'm going to try to blow up one of these bridges. Okay, it looks like our escort's back with us. Trying to catch up. made short work of the uh, German planes. All right, so I'll be back when we get within uh, a few kilometers. All right, I'm back in the cockpit. Looks like we are <clears throat> just over like one grid away. <coughs> Off in the distance over my wing, there should be a town over there. Yeah, there it is right there. And then there should be a town. Down there, where that river peaks. Now I'm just waiting for my commander to give the order to break and bomb. Charlie, control for ground target, body right, out. Okay, I'm throttled all the way down. Basically letting these guys go in
too many G's, huh? Did I hit it? I hope so. Okay, yeah, there we are. Hey! I destroyed a bridge. Okay, let me reform with my guys and we'll fast forward and uh, make our way back. Alright guys, we are back in England, uneventful flight back, <laughs> I am prepared to land right there. <clears throat> Hard to fly in third person. <laughs> okay, I'm not exactly sure where that runway is. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> so I wanted to go north to south. And I'm gradually slowing down. I don't want to drop my gear until I'm at least under 160. <clears throat> okay. Um, there's that. I'm trying to remember my commands. I'll drop my flap. Okay, where'd the airport go? Okay. Isn't this my gear?
That is my gear. And I'll just use the G button. <clears throat> I'm on it. I'm just going the grass. It says I got a bridge. Yay! Let's see how the rest of the squadron did. Or the flight. Okay, that was the morning mission. This was the Bomber Bridge, and I got it. I'm the only one that got it. All right, now while I had just finished that mission, <clears throat> I wanted to go to Holiter's skin downloader. Uh, I put it up on the screen, uh, and we're going to see if there's any new um, skins that I might be interested in for my Spitfire 9 Charlie. It takes a second for it to install, uh, what do you call it, boot up, because it's checking the web for possible new skins. Plus it looks like it's updating preview images. Okay, so give it a second. I'll be right back. All right, so we got it opened up. It took a second for it to <clears throat> load the different games and the planes in each of those games. But let me find the Spitfire 9 Charlie. I think it's in Normandy. Because there's the Spitfire Mark 9. Oh, wait, that's the 9 Charlie. <clears throat> so now I'm waiting for it to um, find all the skins. Okay. These are the... I hadn't downloaded those yet. Let's go ahead and download them now. I set them to download, but never actually downloaded them, apparently. There we go. So let's get to... Okay, there's the 9 Charlie. And as you click on these, you'll get a preview image <clears throat> of what it will look like. Um, some of these are like not for me was that north korea south korea something like that 
There's an American Spitfire. 100th Standard Olive Spitfire. I don't know if I like that one. I kind of like that, but shouldn't that be... Add it to my queue. Four eighty six. It's got some kind of uh, rabbit bumper. A D Day Spitfire. I think we already have that, but this is four eighty six. I don't know, is that a... <laughs> I'll add it to my queue because I think I like it. King and Country. There's a lot of 486s. Somebody did a bunch of 486. What does that say? Looks like a lot of fairy themes. Wonder if... Okay, that's interesting. Ocean. I R R E. Interesting looking. Okay, well, those are the only two that I like. Let's go ahead and download them. <clears throat> Thank you. Now let me go while we're here. I never fly the mosquito. I shouldn't have clicked that. They do fly the P-47 every now and then. <clears throat> and you can see there's a lot of them. Takes a second to get the skins loaded. You gotta be patient with this uh, program. It uh, searches a lot of information. That's Russian, okay. That is kind of cool. Gemini. I don't know what it is, but I like the checker pattern. And the Hellcat, okay. It's fantasy. Some people are just flexing their muscles. On because they know how to mod the skins. See, like that, that's flexing muscles. Okay, P51. Okay, that came up pretty quick. Still loading. Now this is the P-51 B-5. I'm just randomly clicking down the line. There's a lot of P-51 skins.
It's Royal Navy, right? No, it's American. I don't know. Also, there's a lot of these um, <clears throat> guilds out there, and they have their own skins that they like to fly with. And they have their own logos. I've already done that one. Okay. I'm looking to make sure they have generic lettering so that I can add whatever lettering I want. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Newport 11, I'll fly that every now and then. <clears throat> Yikes. Looks like I've downloaded a couple of Newport 11 skins. But some of these might be newer. All right, let's just go ahead and download these. All right, while those guys are downloaded, I want to thank you for coming out and checking out this episode of IL2. And I will see you, hopefully, in the next video.